Hi Iris, this is Mary Shima Shao Shaloka. Let's see what is the situation as of now and what you need to care for me right now. Aries and Sun rising in Venus. What is it that you need to care for me? Just one more time. Just before this, I pulled out uh, two cards, actually three, there was a flipper as well. Uh, so the first card which I got was the Five of Cups, which spoke about disappointment. Someone is crying over spilt milk, something which did not work out, all right? Then we had um, the Tower, so something big happened, okay? The Tower, uh, it's, it's like things fell apart. Whatever you had once upon a time, it's not there anymore. Okay, it could be a family situation, it could be a relationship situation, whatever it is, it, it's, it's just fallen apart. Okay, so you're still focused on what you had once upon a time. Okay, you're crying over spilled milk. Okay, because they showed me the flipper was the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is, uh, you know, a family situation. Okay, your abundance, your happiness, your emotional happiness, that uh, has taken a hit. Okay, and now with that five cups in the first position, you're still focused on what had happened. You are not over it. All right, all right, moving on. Aries out there. That could be a message for somebody out there, all right? So I got interrupted in between, that's why I need to just start again. Your first card is the Six of Cups. This could be the continuation, okay? This is a, like the interaction, the bonding, the connection which you had. Three of Pentacles and the Hangman. It's, this is a continuation. What you had once upon a time, the Six of Cups, you can see, you know, Two people interacting with each other. There is a connection there. Okay, this could be a family situation. This could be people uh, whom you're very close with. But with this hangman, things have come to a full stop. Things are pretty much in limbo right now. Some of you might be dealing with a scorpion or probably a Sagittarius. Aries are there. What is your next card, please? Your next card is the Hierophant, along with the Queen of Cups. This could be something which has a foundation, like a work situation, you know, uh, you're dealing with your management, a workplace situation, or it could be a married situation, okay? It seems like you're very much invested into this whole thing, okay, they're showing me, uh, this is something which is affecting you at the core level, okay, some of you might be dealing with a Taurus or probably a Gemini or a Cancerian, moving on, Aries Aldo, what is your next card please, it can be a work situation, because I saw the Three of Pentacles peeping out earlier. Three of Swords. In the center of your reading, people are hurting. Okay? And I feel like both the parties are hurting. Okay? Because in the Six of Cups, there is two people involved. I feel like someone has been hurt really badly. It could be a situation of betrayal as well. Okay, seven of cups. Yeah. It's like uh, someone um, might have gone out of the boundaries of the relationship. Something about that with the seven of cups. You know, the head was up in the clouds. That is why someone felt no? They felt stuck in the chest. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpion. 
Aries Under, what is your next card, please? Your next card is a Six of Wands. Along with the Seven of Wands. This has to do with, because when I'm looking at the half end and the six of wands together, it could be um, regards to a marriage situation, okay? Someone uh, seems to be very defensive right now. Now they're standing the ground. They've decided something, okay? It seems like um, someone has the upper hand over the situation right now. Does that make sense? Some of you might be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius. What is your last card, Aries? I hope this makes sense to some of you at least. Uh, Aries Alder, what is your last card, please? Ooh. We're the Four of Cups. It seems like you know, you're not liking how things are right now. You're not okay with the situation. Okay with how things are as of now. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian. Uh, you're assessing whatever is going on and you're not liking it. You are trying to reflect. You're going within and asking for answers. What you see you're just not okay with it. Some of you might be dealing with a Virgo. What is your last card, Aries? What is your last card? Your last card is the Ten of Cups. This is a family situation because, yes, I told you, I spoke about this initially when I started off the reading. I said these two cards came up. The Five of Cups, the Tower, and the Ten of Cups the, was a flipper, a flipper. Sorry, flipper. Yeah. So they ended with the same cards. Someone is so disappointed with whatever has happened. Look at the transition from the Ten to the Five. You're crying over spilt milk. Things are not the same anymore. Okay? Because someone feels very heartbroken within this connection. Okay, what you had once upon a time, it is not there anymore. Okay, and you're not, you are just not okay with how things have ended up. How did things come to this? Okay, you did not expect this. All right. It's, it's like, um, Somebody thought they had options, okay? Options outside this uh, relationship. Whatever the situation, it could be a work situation as well. It, more like, it seems like a relationship situation. Um, yeah. I had a feeling I was going to continue with the same reading. That is why I spoke about these two cards again before I started with the reading. They just confirmed, yes, it's the same. Same damn reading. So that's it. This is something which uh, somebody out there is going through. I'm just going to break the deck for the heck of it. Ooh. I was just thinking in my head, will things get better? Not really, because the five cups, the five pentacles, at least for now, no. This is how things are. This is how betrayed you feel right now. You feel like you are put out in the cold, okay? You don't have the support, you're struggling. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces or a Taurus or a Scorpion. That's it for now. This is Marishi, my channel, Chuloka. Until next time, bye.